Bad Horror Werewolf, Werewolf Wedding. wedding. Oh, we can't thank you enough for meeting with us, Minister Shep. You're welcome. You too, Jolly. Oh, anytime. <laughs> and we can't thank you enough for agreeing to do our pre-marriage counseling only when there's a full moon. Well, it wouldn't make much sense to do werewolf wedding counseling if you two weren't horrible, snarling, bloodthirsty werewolves. Speaking of... You wouldn't have a cup of blood, would you? Uh, in the church, that's a trickier question than you realize. Yeah, uh, Elena, would you mind not sniffing my face? Oh, you're lucky I'm just sniffing. Be oh. cool, Elena. Minister Chef, you were about to give us your five rules for a happy marriage. Oh, yeah, this ought to be good. <laughs> um, what's uh, that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. It's just that, um... A certain minister may have promised to divorce a certain wife if... <laughs> uh, be cool, um, Jolene. Yeah. I'm looking for the right moment. Sir Minister, we have a limited amount of time to morph back into your mind. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Okay, all right. Rule number one, never go to bed angry. Does a face covered in human blood count as angry? No, I don't think so then that shouldn't be a problem. It's interesting that you say never go to bed angry because <laughs> we've had some pretty damn violent sex and it's hard to tell whether you were angry or not. Jolene. Do we ever go to bed angry? What's the next one? Um, don't hold a grudge. Don't. Does the grudge I have against the original vampire, Lord Locke the Thrasher, count? Only if you're marrying him. No. Our relationship is purely sexual. Okay, don't hold grudges. What's the next one? Um, empathy. Try to put yourselves in each other's shoes. Um, our shoes shred off our feet when we become werewolves. Mm -hmm. But I dig where you're coming from. That must cost you a fortune, Elena. Oh, it does. What's the fourth rule? Uh, did you just nip at my throat? A little. I'll behave. If Minister Shep turns into a werewolf, maybe he'll devour his wife and we can be together. What makes you think that even if he does devour his life, you will be next in line? That's a really good question. Elena, um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, how good are werewolf orgasms? So good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, you've never given me one. Oh. Hey, I was supposed to eat him. No, 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 Bruce, no. Ah! Body, Body count, count one. one. Well, that was gruesome. <laughs> uh, what happens now? It's a uh, bit of a waiting game. How so? Most of the time, the uh, victim turns into a werewolf within an hour. Okay. But sometimes they just die. We don't really know why. Werewolves don't get grants to study such things. But does it hurt being turned into a werewolf? Uh, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> Actually, you, you could just tell me it. <laughs> Body, Body count, count two. two. And now we play the waiting game. I could totally go for some tacos. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, may I have your attention, please, because coming to you live from the beautiful studios on Air Media Studios in Dallas, Texas, this is Far Out Fiesta. Yay! Yay. I am your host and humble narrator, Richard Houghton. Please give it up for our amazing cast, Kristen Keith. Hey, yeah. thanks. Rob Hutzbeck. <laughs> and special guest star, Brandy Marie Corbett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Before we go any further, I have a quick question. This is the Meet the Cast segment. If uh, you're recording what segment this is for some reason. <laughs> I have a question for each and every one of you. Uh, what was your favorite Halloween costume ever? Kristen. Oh, God, I never know the answer to the <laughs> well, There's no right answer. Can I go last? You can go last. Oh, Rob. Oh, great, thanks. <laughs> um, well, 
I, I would sometimes have to get creative when I was a kid. So yes. one Halloween, all I had was like uh, my, my dad's old basketball referee uniform and okay. some vampire teeth and, <laughs> you are a vampire and, ref? and, and, and a, a ref, referee's cap. So yeah, I went as a vampire referee. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Right? Um, I guess um, when I was a kid, my favorite, at least memory of a costume yes. was uh, I went as a bunch of grapes with like oh, cool. balloons <laughs> as the grapes. Very yeah. nice. Okay, I remember. All right. Um, actually, it's a recent one. There you go. Um, Little Bo Peep. Oh, cool. I mean, it's got, you know, it's got the little bows and the like petticoat it. and the And it's lots of peep staff. on it, too. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little peep in it, too. Uh -huh. I mine, guess. I mine was a Freudian slip. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Far out. Let's wow. fiesta. Cool. Awesome. Plucks. What's the biggest problem in America? Quality leech shortage. Not enough games in the baseball season. Soybeans jam-packed with mind-scrambling chips and carbs. That's right. Not enough acceptable rubber shoe options. Didn't say that. Nope. Oh. They want you to believe I said it. Sir, I can see you're wearing a ranger's hat, <laughs> a cowboy skort, which I have some real questions about. Is this going somewhere? Um, well, I think. <laughs> I think you're a weekend sports enthusiast. And they said you were dumber than bubblegum and smelled like urine-soaked paint and that you would never understand. <laughs> well, if there, if there was a shoe made completely out of foot-smothering, odor-retaining rubber that was kind of shaped like a cross-training shoe, do you think that... Uh, you, would they give me terrible blisters? Well, you, you, you would have to take off from work. Ah, log into your website and purchase some. Oh, you do that. <laughs> and we will begin releasing your remaining living family members. Remaining family members? Uh, okay, which child was your favorite? Oh, little Bra Blandon. Oh, too bad. Um, he died. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, they're all dead. Um. Body count, <laughs> count three. three. <laughs> um, well, I mean, as long as he didn't die in vain. He totally did. <laughs> Sorry. A professional business person? Yes. Um... How long have you been answering to that name? How long has it been since your butt didn't smell? Oh, real mature. You are. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what if I told you about a medium-heeled, mostly slippery rubber pump? That would depend on the color. It would, if we had more than one color. What if they don't have my size? Uh, ever hear of, of a toe shaving? <laughs> uh, you, sir? Um, don't use my real name. Well, I don't know it. And you I never will. Oh. It's tattooed in my stomach, so you would have to get me to learn my name. <laughs> As I look down and see your horrifyingly dirty toenails poking through your banana leaf shoes. Man, oh. the nail dirt keeps the frequency O-U-T. And the banana leaf shoes are really more of a fashion statement. <laughs> if I had a shoe that was for a man... That exposed your toenails and resembled a banana leaf, but was made out of rubber, would you... Oh, where did he go? What? Was he ever here? Plucks! Oh, before deciding to go with all the rubber shoes... Uh, okay, that's a great idea. <laughs> Farmer's, Farmer's Branch, Branch has, has some, some talent. talent. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Farmer's Branch has some talent. <laughs> Farmer's Branch's third most popular podcast talent show. I'm your host, Karsten, no last name anymore. <laughs> it's time to introduce our panel of judges. How are you doing tonight, Gina G? If I was doing any better, it would be better. <laughs> Not giving me much to work with here, Gina G. <laughs> You're a tool. Alright, uh, Mickey Bing, America's most despised comic is here. Welcome, Mickey Bing. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, it's great to be here. Ah, cold card attack! Oh. Body, Body count, count four. four. Clear. Thanks, baby. Uh, oh. Karsten, please excuse me for the rest of the show. I'm going back to rehab. <laughs> Body, Body count, count three. <laughs> well, Godspeed, Mickey. You know, 12th time is the charm. Darletta, you are looking beautiful tonight. Oh, so I look like dog crap? Well, how are you, Darletta? <laughs> A will pause my suicidal thoughts for up to 30 minutes at a time. <laughs> oh, good, because we have wall-to-wall -to -wall talent tonight, judges. So let's get right to it. 
Now, our first act comes to us from the intersection of Webb Chapel and Valley View. Welcome, Terry the Invincible. Oh, it's great to be here, Karsten. I've been a big fan of yours since you were on VH1, too. <laughs> Thank you. Even if your failed game shows were um, crap slaw. Um, so is that like coleslaw, but only with crap? That's right. Uh, all right, well, what's your talent, Flaquad? Well, Karsten, I'll be um, jamming my entire head into this mailbox. That's barely a talent at all. You know who has talent, Karsten? Who's that, Terry? Your mom. When she was screaming my name during sex backstage, her tone was clearer than Mariah Carey. Yeah, um, that was uh, my mom <laughs> having sex uh, backstage. All right, just uh, do your fucking talent. All right. I need total silence from the audience. Uh, well, that will be easy. Our audience right now is the cleaning lady. Okay, make yourself useful, Karsten, and give me a countdown. Okay, here we go. 1,241. 1,240. 1,239. Start with five. Five, four, three, two, one. And I'm in. Hmm. Darletta, what do you think of Terry's act? That was the whole act, putting his head in a mailbox. It's kind of hard to breathe in here. Um, yes. And that's our opening act. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> yes. Okay, on a seven-point scale, I give this act a four. I'm blacking out. Can somebody help me? <laughs> Gina G, uh, what do you think of Terry's act? Can I plug my new single before I give my score? As long as you don't sing it. Fuck you. Three. The pain is excruciating. Something is going horribly wrong. Was Terry falling on the ground and shuddering until he stopped moving part of his act? Um, if it was, would it change your score? No. Well, then who cares? Well, he's not moving, Karsten. <laughs> maybe you should check his pulse. And maybe you should feel guilty about charging for autographs at the Golden Corral. Oh, Golden Corral people are some of my biggest fans. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, are you going to check his pulse? No oh. pulse. Body, body count, count five. five. So let's take a quick break so that we can incinerate his body. Mm. Ooh. Corpse s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with our next act right after this break. So, uh, hey, uh, Gina G, I'll give you 20 bucks if you uh, kiss the dead guy. Show me the money first. Ooh, I want in on this action. <laughs> How much time? <laughs> Good afternoon, Garland. Oh, it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon. You know what that means. I've been day drinking for four hours. It means it's time for Good Afternoon Garland. I've been day drinking for four hours. In case you're a little confused, AM Garland has become Good Afternoon Garland. That's right, Rebecca. And your former AM Garland co-hosts, Miguel and Letty Lee, are on, um, what did HR tell us to call it? Corporate timeout. Corporate timeout. Corporate timeout. And we have moved the show to the afternoons. In doing that, we're going to get... Is it more edgy or edgier? Gee, Teague, have you mistaken me for an English language teacher? <laughs> when we got edgier, we had to up the security... By adding a cardboard stand-up of a security guard in the lobby! And this afternoon, we'll be bringing you a rival gang summit! That's right, Rebecca! One and for all, our after... Once and for all, our afternoon podcast <laughs> is going to end in gang-on-gang gang violence. Or die trying. What? Huh? This afternoon on Good Afternoon Garland, our guests are Alfonso from the Josie Lane Crips. Hello, Alfonso. Hey, yo. And from the Marsh Lane Bloods, meet Penny. Hola, Penny. Yo, why'd you steal my spook Spanish? Alfonso, there's been a rash of violence. Hey, so scratchy. In Farmer's Branch, in the past six months, and local law enforcement is saying that the Josie Lane Crips are behind most of it. Would you care to comment? Hey, first off, can I do a shout-out to my boy, 
Kimbo. Oh, I think it's a to do a shout out, so do I. We have a strict no shout out policy on Good Afternoon Garland. Oh, hey, hey, T. Uh, may I call you T? Well, unless you want to give me a cool gang name. Uh, yeah, your, uh, your gang name is, uh, Dried Snot. Oh, I love it. Oh, can I have a gang name, too? Uh, yeah, uh, Blue Baby J. I get Dried Snot and she gets Blue Baby J? Hey, I calls them like I see them. Alfonso, are the Josie Lane Crips causing most of the crime in the city? Oh, hell no, man. It's the Marsh Lane Bloods. Oh, BS. The Marsh Lane Bloods are a social club. I saw news footage of some Marsh Lane blood stealing cars. The Marsh Lane Bloods are a social club that steal cars. <laughs> Deals with meth and operates chop shops. But we're not causing any crime. Hey, the Marsh Lane Bloods chop shop ain't nothing compared to the Josie Lane Crips chop shop. Oh, the Josie Lane Chips meth ain't nothing compared to the Marsh Lane Bloods. Hey, nobody this is our meth. Hey, nobody this is our chop shops. Our guests have uh, pulled out weapons and are pointing them at each other. Everybody be cool. Hey, I don't like the way that boom guy is looking at me. He shot Jerry. Body, Body count, count five. five. Oh, I, I don't like the way that grip is looking at me. She shot Mike. Body, Body count, count six. Get down, Rebecca. We're going to take a quick break and tend to... Oh, you shot the lady who waters the plants? Body, Body count, count seven. seven. Wow, we tend to our dead and dying. And when we get back from commercial, summer fun with pipe cleaners. Porn Academy. Academy. I think enough of you are here that we can start class. How long will I have to go without drugs? Not long. <laughs> Any other questions? So, um, exactly how much time before I have more drugs? <sighs> Today's class. What? Uh, Drax. Uh -huh. hey, yeah. I have a question for you. Oh, if it's how long until I can do drugs, it might be penicilla meal time for you. <laughs> oh, like when you put my junk in a baggie and suck out all the air so that my penis may be more efficiently stored? Yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to learn about sofa work. Oh, what, Drax? I withdraw my question. Shut your face and listen, Drax. Um, did you say, uh, sofa work? So, wait, uh, is that when, uh, the people who live in this amazing mansion prefer to screw on a small sofa? And half the time there's lighting to make it look like shutters? That's right. Are there any male volunteers to be my assistant? Sexist. Oh. No, uh, sexiest. <laughs> That's the sexiest question I've heard all day. <laughs> Didn't want to have to steal a meal, my vagina. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'd volunteer, but oh God, I've already shot 26 scenes today. I may need a few minutes. Oh, hey, I'll volunteer. Oh, <laughs> there are two basic categories in sofa work and three main po <laughs> Lexi? Lexi? Lexi, come back! My Uncle Vance, veiled in an ethereal white light, said, Either it's not your time, or I loved you in Milf Wars 3. You know, I, I think your heart stopped. <gasps> cool. How is that cool? I lose weight when my heart stops. Oh, cool. <laughs> Go ahead and take your clothes off, Gage. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'll need some underwear clips. No, I just put them on the floor. Uh, you've seen what goes on on the floors on this set. Oh, yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I, you know, I, I think if I did uh, dot to dot with just my splooge stains on this floor, it, it would look like a splooge cathedral. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's been a long time since drugs. You win, people. Okay, we're taking a 10-minute drugs break. Back in 10. Body, Body count, count 10. 10. <laughs> Authentic home, home babies, babies of Richardson. Richardson. <laughs> Teresa, and I may be less than two feet tall, but I have two feet. <laughs> oh, well, welcome to Baby Teresa's official play date upscale grocery store. Baby Jimmy. When my nanny takes me to the real grocery store, she also brings vodka in a plastic cup. Ah, welcome, Baby Portia. I'm Baby Portia. 
Don't let the fact that I can't hold my head up fool you. I see everything. I didn't even know you could shop in a building. I thought you could only shop online. <laughs> a lot of babies think that. Um, welcome, Baby Slate. Um, does this grocery store have anything to tell the pain of a new tooth pushing through my gun? Oh, maybe. Um, here's a plastic grape. Um, is that a choking hazard? Um, uh, well, babies can pretty much choke on anything. Okay, <laughs> so how does the upscale grocery store game work? Here, so uh, you will pick out your food and bring it to me and pay me. Well, I don't want to be a customer. I want to be the person who works the gelato counter. We only have a gelato counter. Well, then it's time to get my baby tour belt. If baby Jimmy gets to work the gelato counter, can I be the specialty cheese salad? Yes. Okay, here's some Play-Doh cheese. So all I get to be is a customer. Yes, my stuffed animals are also customers. That doesn't make me feel too special. Well, maybe grocery shopping will. We'll see. Uh, I couldn't find my tool belt, so this foot right here is my gelato counter. <gasps> Hello, gelato man. I'd like a scoop of your finest rice cereal gelato. <laughs> I'm barely on solid food. Okay, well, the only kind of gelato I have is a plastic grape. That will be $1,000. Pay, 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 pay. <laughs> and here is your change. Oh, hey, you were supposed to pay me. I'm the cashier. Cheese lampers. Get your cheese Cheese man. Um, no, it's me. It's me. It's me, Mr. Slade. Oh, where did the cheese man go? Peekaboo! Oh, there he is. I'll pay you now. Uh, no, you're supposed to pay me. I'm the cashier in, in this upscale grocery store. How about instead of paying you, I um, lock you in your upscale grocery store and firebomb the place. My nanny doesn't let me play with bombs. Too bad. Mine does. I'm locking your grocery store doors and bombing your grocery store. Can I at least rescue my stuffed animal customers first? No. They must burn. Okay. What do you want to play now? Arson. Insurance fraud? Uh, I just want to lie under my mobile and try to finally grab that duck. We should have left baby Jimmy to fry. Oh, oh crap! It looks like my nanny OD'd. Again! Who wants to play coroner? Body, Body count, count 11, 11 humans, 16 stuffed animals. animals. Testosterone before. So, I, I'm glad you finally agreed to go out with me, Leah. I figured I'd have to, like, look up how to do a restraining order. It seemed like effort. Well, I'm fully prepared to romance you. <laughs> romance me? Uh, yeah, Bot wrote that dialogue. Why, why are you backing away and lighting matches under your nose? Oh, it's your smell. It's not so fresh. Like, deviled ham and... Scrotum. Oh. Well, howdy, partners. I'm Bubba, the masculine freshness cowboy, and I'm here to tell you all about Testosteroma. Well, uh, you have a trustworthy face. Well, I'm a blue cowboy whose mustache moves when I talk. Well, how does it work? Well, first off, you just jam this miniature exterminator tent onto your Johnson. Mm -hmm. Testosteroma will do the rest. Oh no, I'm driving off a bridge. Clayton will need a different date for the after part of this commercial. Those are my last words. Body, Body count, count 13, 13 humans, 16 stuffed animals. animals. So Aaron, uh, thank you so much for agreeing to go out with me. Oh, it's my pleasure. God, why is that alluring smell? Mm, could be roses. No. Uh, fresh baked cookies? No, no, it's in your crotch. <laughs> May I sniff it? Well, sure. Hey, mind if I order an awesome blossom? 
Testosterona. Precinct negotiator. negotiator. I can't do this anymore. I have nothing left to live for. That's not true. You have um, Wednesday night primetime TV. I'm jumping. Oh, wait. Two of the city's finest who are trained to handle situations like this are on their way. Here they are now. Give me a moment to brief them. Oh, okay, but as, as a general rule, jumpers aren't great at pausing. Ass nose, prick face, get in here. I'm prick face. He's ass nose. Yeah, what's your story, internal affairs, Fran? Before I answer your question, I need to know that you're going to do this by the book. We don't do things by the book, but we get results. I'll observe, and if things get too out of hand, I'll be asking for your gun and your badge. Things get too out of hand, and lady, you can have them. I don't have time for your insolence. Just do your jobs. Yeah, she never has time for our insolence. I know, you know, maybe send an insolence save the date. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Someday there will be time for our insolence. Doubt it. The jumper is out on the ledge. So, uh, does the jumper have a name? I didn't bother to ask. I've been calling her Dana. Uh, hello, Dana. <laughs> How did you know my name? Fantastic detective word. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it wasn't because Internal Affairs' friend guessed that was your name. I'm Prickface, and this is my, uh, partner, Asnose. I'd shake your hands, but I'm precariously perched on the sledge, and although part of me wants to die, my fingernails are completely dug into this building. Oh, hey, that nail color looks great on you. Oh, thank you! You're not just saying that to earn my trust, are you? Uh, well, he is. I think it looks like crap. Guys, oh. there's no need to play good cop, bad cop in this situation. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Um, <clears throat> uh, Dana? Yes? How are you? <laughs> I'm at my wit's end! <laughs> and you? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, pretty good. Uh, I, f I found a wheat bread that I really like. Ass nose. Well, well, sorry, sorry. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so what's going on in your life that has caused you to take such drastic action? <laughs> Uh, that's not too bad. <laughs> For a sex doll. A sex doll. Oh. Mm. And I'm about to be indicted for embezzling funds from an orphanage. Wow. Really? Yeah, and my house is 30 minutes away from being condemned because my wall is... Because my wall of chiggers. Well, dang. That, oh, ooh, that's bad. Yeah, my, ch my chiggers are now load-bearing. I'll take over. Dana, if you will come off the ledge, I can help you with your problem. So you can get my husband back? No, no, probably not. Sex dolls are cool. <laughs> so, um, you can defend me against the embezzlement charges? No, no, not, not legally, no. Oh, can you treat my trigger, my chigger wall? <laughs> Ew, no, chiggers are gross. Okay, I've seen enough uh, of your unorthodox methods. Dana, come in off that ledge right now. Wow! Oh, she's stomping her feet! Okay, I'm coming! Wow, she fell fast. Yeah, I mean, totally exploded, you know, like a, like a bloody water balloon. This is going in both of your permanent files. Is it? The way I see it, and the way I will testify is, if I asked, is the last person that spoke with her was you. And if it was something you said that cost Dana her life? What do you say I buy you some drinks and we figure out exactly what we're going to say in the police report, Asnose? Hey, I'm Asnose. He's Prickface. Final body, body count. count. 15, 15 humans, 16, 16 stuffed animals. animals. That's right. We killed a lot of people <laughs> on episode 104 yeah. of our Fiesta Body Count. Give it up for, oh, I've been your host and whatever. Give it up for our amazing <laughs> cast, Kristen oh, Keith. Yeah. Thank you. Rob Hudsmith. Oh, Special guest star, Bridie Marie Corbett. Yes. Anybody <laughs> working on anything cool they'd like to tell the world of four about? <laughs> um... We always go blank. <laughs> um, 
I'm doing some SMU film tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes. cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I get to, to help a guy with his uh, pee shyness. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Pee Is it documentary? Or? Uh, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a dramedy. Ah, oh, I believe. Dramedy. Yes, it's a <laughs> dramedy. But it's a real problem. Yes. yes. Of course it is. Pee yes. shyness. Uh, contact your, your local council. Yeah. There's yeah. a guess. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.